this is what you'll need basically to do a uh, serpentine belt on an Audi 3 liter Audi Volkswagen 3 liter diesel so this is what I used to get the job done it took me less than an hour it took me about I don't know 30 40 minutes mainly because I was looking for tools so you're gonna need these square drives an M8 an M10 an M12 a 13 millimeter if you're using this style unless you have this style I don't have this style in that small the smallest I have is M14 16 and the 18 so you'll need this also it is a T T T T T what are you a T60 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 a torque wrench that reads Newton meters um, I used a uh, 3 8 inch drive ratchet torque wrench 50 Newton meters you can see because that's the tensioner and a ratchet a 13 millimeter socket I used a 13 millimeter socket on those but because these were too long as you can see I tried to cut this one down but my bandsaw just was bouncing off it so I used a crow's foot 13 millimeter to torque them down so those are the tools you'll need that's basically it M8, M10, M12, T60, ratchet, ratchet, 13 millimeter socket if you're using those style. If you're not using those style, you will not need that and you won't need that. If you're using, I'll show you real quick. If you're using these, then you don't need the other socket. Um, but this is the smallest I have, M14, M16, and M18. Um, so anyway, alright, let's get to it. Let's get to the video. Alright guys, could not find any videos, so this might be the first and only video. I got my new pulleys, so grooved pulley, it's going to go in the groove, this pulley, this pulley. So one, two, grooved pulley, tensioner, so I'm going to see how these caps come off which I do not know so it looks like it's just a little cap right in there Mm-hmm. Okay. You see that or not? That cap went on that one maybe. Yeah, that one went on the groove. Okay, let's do this one. And oh no. It's way down there. Oh boy. Reach, reach, reach. Ouch. Okay, got that one. That's gonna go on those pulleys and this one. Just a lot of dirt in them, I guess. Ooh, right down there. Okay, that one's gonna go on that pulley. I'm kind of curious if we can just. It looks like you could, I could have just changed this pulley, but, or the pulley off the tensioner. So, let's see. What do we have? How does it rotate? Seems a 
like. I have to rotate it clockwise. See? Oh yeah. Gotta go clockwise, obviously, because it's tightening it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. back okay take that out there's the belt the belt I think the belt is fine it's just I'm here might as well just change it I can keep it as a spare as a backup it's not cracked or anything so oh I did get my fork oil, so I'm using Honda 5 weight HP 5 weight, and here's the seal driver. It's a Tusk 46 47 millimeter. All right, so cut that off. It looks like down in there is a one of those square bits. Looks like this is a square square bit. Got some play there. Play there. Don't really have any play. Eh, got some play there. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take all these off and try to figure out all the wiring. I was gonna change the water pump because it's just right here. But, and it's just, uh, I think it was like 8 bolts or 10 bolts, or 10 screws, whatever you want to call them. But, is what it is. Um, I can always replace it later. But, anyway. So let me, uh, let me go get the tool. Or whatever, I can just go that way here and grab it. Grab it, grab it. Alright, so we got... I don't know which one it is. So, it doesn't look like it's that big though. And, we'll see which one this one is. And, if I can get in here. Nope. Okay, so that bottom one's an M12, and I believe all these are going to be M10, yep, M10, ooh, that one's small, um, so M10, M12, no M16s, um, are going to be an M8, so, <clears throat> let's see, what is a half inch? So, I'm going to use a, a 13 millimeter. So, I'm just going to break them all loose with a, a ratchet I have somewhere right up here. Anyway, let me break them all loose. I'm going to do it all off camera because... I know this is probably boring as heck for you guys. So, I'll start with this one over here. Not sure if I can get in there or not. Doesn't look like it. Might have to go with a smaller 13. Let me break them all off and we'll compare them. I'll be back. Alright, we got them all off. We got this one off. This one does look like it has a little backing plate. Like some type of spacer. That this one does not have. But pretty much it's the same. It says one three, this is one two or one half. Um 
Only thing is that these, I'll clean that obviously. Um, these bolts are aluminum, so I gotta try to find the torque specs on these bolts. But a A1S19 CU3D F3 F anyway, it's all the same except for this one says I think 2014 this was built. This was 2019 and it says one half, which I don't know what that means. But it's all the same. And I think this car's got some blow by right in here. Not blow by, but somehow this is this was loose the last time I checked. So uh gotta see if I can't get one of these new hoses. This hose right here. I'll look it up. See how hard it is to replace. Shouldn't be that hard. But I think that's what's causing all that oil down there. So, <clears throat> these are all the, the pulleys and bolts. So, wasn't this one. This, this one was just got gunk all over it. I don't know what it is. Um, but this one, this one's fine. This, this one here, it's got some corrosion on it. And this one, when I took it off, you can see this one was kind of rolling, which is why I think it was causing it to, causing that bolt, that belt to roll off. So, anyway, I'm going to throw them all on. I'm going to go look up torque specs for these stupid aluminum bolts so I don't break them. And uh, we'll throw them all on real quick. I'll be back. Alright guys, got all the pulleys on. See, you have still the same amount of play and everything. So, the tensioner was kind of a pain in the butt um, to get because of that plate one to keep falling off. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and route the belt, route the belt, and then uh, put it all together. I ended up using a uh, 13 millimeter little claw foot for these little adapters these little adapters so you'll need an M8 square for the one with the groove down there so that takes the M8 then uh, the M10 is for the one the two up here and then the M12 12 if it'll zoom or focus I mean What's that? What's going on? Oh, my little hawk friend is here Hmm, <laughs> came back Oh, it's another hawk Two hawks Pretty sweet Nice. That's cool. Anyway, that's an M12. M12 is for that one. So the M12 is uh, 50 newton meters. 50 newton meters here. And then it says plus a half a turn. Eh. I went 50 newton meters and probably about an eighth of a turn. And then the, uh, the other three, one, two, and three, I did uh, 20 newton meters plus... Uh, eh. So about a about a sixteenth of a turn, maybe an eighth of a turn. Um, those call for uh, twenty newton meters and a quarter turn, and the tensioner is fifty newton meters with a half a turn. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing that because they're aluminum bolts, and it's only a matter of eh before they break. So. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and route this belt, stick everything on, uh, release the pressure off this tensioner, and uh, 
fired up. So I'll be back. All right, guys, kind of a weird pattern, but if you can find the pattern, I had to look it up because I was getting all confused. So alternator, alternator idler, idler, and it goes around to the tensioner, around the crank, air conditioner. Um, I don't know what that is, like a, maybe a spog pump. Then another idler, and then uh, the water pump. So if you want to see it, screenshot it. I don't know what to tell you. That's how it goes. Hold it right here. So again, alternator it goes over a tensioner, over or a, a idler pulley to the tensioner, to the crank, crank to the air conditioner, AC to the smog pump thing, idler, water pump, and then um, yeah, that one. Let's see. Let's see what is what is number six. Vein pump. I'm assuming it's a vacuum pump because diesels don't create vacuum, so some type of vacuum pump. Maybe looks like it's going to the brake. I don't know. But anyway, that's how it goes. So I'm gonna tighten this and pull this pin. Let's see what what explodes. Well, we got little to no movement. Here's the pin. You can see the pin is out of there. So uh, let me just move some stuff and go fire this beast up. Put you guys right there in case something explodes. I think that's it. Got the caps on. Got everything on, bolted, tightened down, fired up. Success. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, the whatever did it did it. The belt's riding smooth on the pulley, smooth on the pulley. Kind of wondering if it was this pulley because this pulley had a lot of play. The groove pulley back there. That one might have been the cul culprit. Anyway, so now I got um, an extra belt, some extra pulleys for next time. And uh, I got this video for reference, and you guys got this video for reference. And that's it. So like I said, oh, you will need a... Uh, I'll go through that in the beginning. I went through it in the beginning. We'll just say we went through it in the beginning. And I'll move the next video to the, meet, the beginning. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I spent 200 and... Um, I can't really remember. I don't know where the... seat might be right here. I bought it from Audi. Or genuine Audi parts. I paid $282. So $24 tax. Uh, 53 bucks for the serpentine belt. Uh, 32 bucks for the one idler pulley, the grooved idler pulley. Um, there's the part numbers. Let's see here. You can see I got two of those. So you can see everything right there. So, 
pause the video, screen the shot, and uh, yeah, those are the part numbers that I bought. Belt tensioner was 90 bucks, and I bought two oil filters. OEM Audi Volkswagen oil filters. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, stay tuned for the next video where I do some airbags and uh, for the rear her helper airbags. Alright, guys. Peace out. Volkswagen Audi Life. Later.